Russian state television is working hard to present an alternative reality of what's happening in Ukraine. Alternative facts, if you will. As the invasion of Ukraine began on Wednesday, Russian state media told of a rescue operation to liberate Ukrainians and bring peace. As people were taking shelter in underground bunkers in Kharkiv on Thursday, Russian state broadcasters said the only concern there about Russian troops was what took you so long. And as bombs fell and air raid sirens blared in Kyiv today, a prominent pundit on state TV in Russia said the capital hasn't been bombed by anyone. Julia Davis watches Russian state TV for a living as a columnist for the Daily Beast. Julia, you wrote earlier this week that if there weren't so many lives hanging in the balance, you'd describe current Russian state TV as a darkly comic force. So just how upside down is that version of reality? It's quite ridiculous. Orwell would have been jealous of the magnitude of uh, um, their presentation, the way they turn things not only upside down, but also backwards. If you listen to them, they're liberators, they're bringing freedom, and Ukrainians are baking pies and preparing bouquets of flowers to meet and greet them. And like you said, they're claiming they're not bombing uh, cities, and uh, everything is upside down, and Putin is just totally controlling his media operation as an arm of his government and his military in this instance. Julia, people are clearly getting information from somewhere because we see the demonstrations in the streets. How do they do that? The only way to do that is uh, on the Internet, and people have to proactively go and seek it's it out. It's mostly blocked, right? Uh, no, there's, there's still Internet that they could access, and there are tiny little independent uh, stations that also are online. They could go to YouTube. They could uh, search for the news online. There again, they have to be very proactive to seek it out, and unfortunately, not everyone is, and some are buying into Putin's propaganda. Th this idea that, <laughs> that they would be Nazis, this Jewish president in Ukraine, and that the Ukrainians were carrying out a genocide. It all seems just preposterous, and, and you wonder how anybody could, could ever buy it. Absolutely. With a Jewish president, they're trying to convince the, the world that this is a neo-Nazi regime in the middle of uh, Europe. But there again, um, no one contradicts Putin on his own state TV, and he's right. just expecting everyone to buy it automatically. What's, what's the craziest thing you've seen over the last couple of days on their state TV? them claiming that someone needs to stop Biden, that Biden is the one that's starting this war. Um, and they're literally saying that the United States are responsible here and Putin is just an innocent victim. They're actually uh, reciting the same poem on different state TV channels, which they always do in perfect unison, where they claim the United States is a wicked wolf and the Russia is an innocent lamb that just ended up in this situation having to defend itself do they when give, everything is upside down. Do they give alternative facts about the protesters in, in St. Petersburg and in Moscow, or, or, or do they just not, not show it? Some don't show it, and those that show it claim that they're paid by the West and they're traitors and have to be dealt with in that way. Paid by the West, and, 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 and people swallow that. Yes, and you know, uh, the head of RT, Margarita Simonian, was actually telling them that they're either not informed like she is if they're protesting this war, or if they're informed and are still doing it, then they're the equivalent wow. of traitors. Wow. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.